Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this transistor circuit and we have been asked to find in which region this transistor is operating. So here, we have been given the collector and the emitter current of this transistor. So here, this collector current IC is equal to 1 milliampere, while this emitter current I is equal to 1.2 milliampere. Moreover, the beta of the transistor is equal to 50. Now here, since this emitter and the collector currents are non-zero, that means the transistor is definitely not operating in the cutoff region. Because if it is operating in the cutoff region, then this IC and the IE would be around zero. That means either this transistor is operating in the active region or it is operating in the saturation region. So for the transistor, we know that this emitter current IE is the summation of the base current and the collector current. So here, since we know the value of this emitter and the collector current, so we can easily find this base current. That means this base current IB is equal to IE minus IC. That is equal to 1.2 milliampere minus 1 milliampere. That is equal to 0.2 milliampere. That means here, this base current IB is equal to 0.2 milliampere. Now for the transistor, we also know that this collector current IC is equal to beta times IB. Let's say this beta is equal to beta dash. So with the given values of the IC and the IB, let us find this beta dash. So this beta dash is equal to this IC divided by IB. So this IC is equal to 1 milliampere, while this base current IB is equal to 0.2 milliampere. That means this beta dash is equal to 5. And if you notice, then this beta dash is less than beta. Because here we have been given that this beta is equal to 50. That means with the given currents, the value of the beta is less than the nominal value. And if you are aware that in the saturation region, the value of beta or this beta set is less than the beta active. That means the value of the beta in the saturation region is less than the active region. That means whenever the transistor is operating in the saturation region, then this beta set is less than the beta active. And that is the case over here. Or if you see other way around, then with the given values of the beta, this collector current IC is equal to beta times IB. So if you put the value of beta as 50, and the value of IB as 0.2 milliampere, then this collector current IC should be equal to 10 milliampere. But here, this collector current is equal to 1 milliampere, which indicates that this collector current IC is equal to IC set, which proves that the transistor is operating in the saturation region. So we can say that for the given configuration, the transistor is operating in the saturation region. And therefore, this C is the correct answer.